she literally was the glue that held our family together over the last six, seven months. A few moments later. Here we are. Alright guys, so this is Harley. He's Hi. Kathleen's doggy. He's so sweet. He's a golden doodle and he is literally the sweetest doggy ever. You're so sweet. So Kathleen came back to us, okay? A lot of you guys have asked like how we made it through the last six months. It was Kathleen. It was her. She's been amazing. She comes to her house Monday through Friday, undetermined hours. <laughs> Usually it's about like nine to six, but sometimes she comes earlier, sometimes she stays later. She went on a trip. I call her our special needs nanny. I feel like a nanny really doesn't describe what she does because obviously when you're dealing with special needs, it's a lot, <laughs> a lot more, but I call her that though because that's the best way you explain her um, if you don't know what a respite provider is, but she's amazing. If you have any questions about Kathleen, since we're apparently vlogging again. <laughs> if you have any questions about her, leave them below. She's already said that she would be open to doing like a sit down video. So if you've been following our family for a while, we just moved to Colorado three years ago. So for all of those other years that we've had autistic and special need children, we didn't have help. And so for us, we appreciate it so much. We love her so much. She is literally just a part of the family <laughs> at this point. I'm gonna try putting my backyard back together. We'll see how that goes. Hello? Hi, this is Juan with authorizations with UC Health. Hey. Yes, I did receive an email from Brittany earlier explaining that he's going to get the IVIG infusion instead of the cytogam. So if you didn't watch the vlog where I went over all of Juani's medicine, there was a cytogam infusion. He needed three of them. It's to help prevent against CMV, which is a virus that causes rejection in lung transplant recipients. He received two of the infusions at the hospital and insurance paid for it. But now that he's considered outpatient, insurance was like, no, we don't want to pay for it. And it's like thousands of dollars. So the team met today and decided that a good alternative is for him to have an IVIG infusion which just basically boosts up his antibodies i guess that's what we're doing instead since he already had two of the infusions they feel pretty confident in him just doing the ivig if you're not able to get physical therapy for whatever reason just get miss linky i'll put the link below isn't liam's hair just so beautiful guys look how pretty it is and before the comments start i'm not cutting it is winter tempting you you're crazy for saying i should slow down but maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like So guys, if you ever see Penelope's hair looking super cute, no, I did not do it. What's going on, Liam? <laughs> <laughs> you almost got it. Poke, push. Yeah. Poke. <sighs> Today's the day we clean out my car. Mainly because we're going to a doctor's appointment for Lonnie and he's not, he's not feeling the best today. So we're gonna bring the wheelchair for him. Liam, no sir. I'm gonna open the garage because he won't know it. And yeah, okay, that sounds good. Liam saw an opportunity. So we are going to clean, clean out this car. Figured it out. Figured it out. And we have two minutes to spare. Banana? Good job, Nana. So while I take Lonnie to his appointment, Kathleen's gonna blow up the big water slide and let them go play. Outside, yes or no? Yes. Look at you. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta plug it in. Oh no. 
Lonnie has to go to a pediatrician appointment for his yearly checkup, which feels silly given everyone he's seen and all that, but it's what insurance requires for them to continue to pay for home health care, which is his CNA services, PT, OT, that kind of thing. I'm glad they had him wait for the transplant first before trying to take the BiPAP and the oxygen out. It was just so much, so much work. Settle down, that'd be many nights I got All that work, guys, and he decided to walk, but it's good. Walking is good. About you. Something about you, I like. Thank you so much. You too. Now we're gonna go wash my car, guys. Funny story time. Lonnie's nurse at the pediatrician's office apparently is a viewer of our TikTok. So that was that was pretty cool. Nobody's us be better. Look how shiny that SUV is. Look at it. Let's see what's going on in here. Guys. I miss Kathleen so much. This looks so good. Let's see. So Noah. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking how your knee's doing since you got surgery. Looking good. This is the knee that Noah had surgery on. I got in a fight with Scorpion. You did not. Man, Sub-Zero is our guy. So do you have any pain anymore now? No, it's pretty good. PT says he's able to walk longer distances, and so he's doing really well with it. Yeah. The surgery was a success. So what are you going to do tonight? I'm gonna probably eat some Alfredo Pep Lex on the water slide, and then I'm going to talk to my friend Cheddar on Roblox. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. No problem. Alright guys, it's time. So it has special litter for it. I don't know if you can use other litter, but 40 pounds. There is nothing in between. Let's open it. These are the bags, right? So for those who are new, <laughs> our 17 year old had a double lung transplant a month ago and it is okay for him to live in the house with cats. He just can't change out the cat litter, which isn't an issue. He didn't change it out before. But I was more concerned with the fact that like a regular cat litter box, it just has a stench. Even when you change it constantly, it just has a stench of like cat urine and cat feces. It can irritate your lungs. So we decided to get the litter robot. Everyone says like you can't smell anything with it. Even if it's like by your bed, we're not putting it by your bed. But this is the litter trap. The litter trap. We got the black one because I think black just looks more sleek. All right, so it's hooked up in here. That's so cool. So confused how the litter comes back. Oh look, it's right there. Wow. This thing is just some high tech stuff. So this is his shaker vest. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Voila. I have to put it in the box, but so nice to get rid of equipment. Thankfully, Lonnie hasn't needed to use his oxygen at all, but I feel like we're probably gonna hold on to it. Kathleen went home. She's amazing. I missed having her. A lot of people ask what respite is. How did that? <laughs> Respite's basically there to provide your family support in any way. Now we have four disabled children, so we could technically get more than one respite provider, but Kathleen, does everything like there's not really a need for another respite provider she literally was the glue that held our family together over the last six seven months like i remember the first time we had to call the ambulance it was clear we were going to the hospital we were probably going to be there for a little bit i was so focused with you know having them on the phone 
trying to get that figured out, trying to get him up the stairs because they had to put him on like a lift thing to get him up out of the basement because he was in the basement at that point. I just remember like while all the craziness was going on, Kathleen was going around the house packing up stuff. <laughs> for the hospital. For some people that might seem like the silliest and the smallest things, but Lonnie and I, through the years, have done almost everything by ourselves with very little help. For someone to love, not just our kids so much, but our family as a whole, it really warmed my heart in a way that I'll probably never be able to express in words. It's why I'm so glad that she's taking some summer trips and taking some time for her because she really did just push through. She's going to Florida with us in October. She really is just a part of this family. If I had an extra room, I would just have her move in. <sighs> Lonnie's doing so good. He's just walking around like last night. I was making dinner and I was about to go upstairs and get him. And then he just walked into the kitchen. <laughs> And I know that's normal. That's what kids do. They just walk into the kitchen. But I was, I was almost surprised to see him because I'm still not used to him being able to walk around. So he is doing really, really well. And I'm really so glad that we've been able to document. I'm glad that I started vlogging now. <laughs> like to just be able to document all of this has just been such a gift. I can't wait to look back on it, you know, six months from now, 12 months from now. Crazy to even see it in a few weeks. Now, of course, we get these questions and comments and things like that about Lonnie not being aware that he's on camera or me sharing things and he's gonna grow up to resent me. First off, the dude's almost an adult. He'll be 18 in December. He's very much aware. He has access to the internet. He has access to social media. He's aware and he thinks it's cool and his friends think it's cool and they go through all the comment section. It's not really as big of a deal as other people are portraying. He's also a very opinionated teenager. So if I were to go film him and he didn't want to be filmed, he would tell me don't film me or he would be like, cut that out. Like don't include that in the vlog. He tells everyone about my channel. He was bragging about it to the nurses. We are still going to eventually sit down and do sit downs and all of those things. I'm very proud of the relationship I have with them and I would never risk that just for content. It's just not a thing. We've been getting quite a few questions about like where his wish list went, what happened, and basically what happened was everything got bought out except for some of the bigger items like the PS5 and the fridge and things like that. And we bought those because we were planning on buying them anyway. For those who are still wanting to support him or love him in some way, our PO box is in description. So you can just send him anything. He'll appreciate everything. He's a very easy kid to please. But if you're wanting to like support him in more of a monetary way, his GoFundMe is still open and his GoFundMe now is directly going into his own bank account. Things are heading in a good direction with him. And so unless something unforeseen happens, hope it doesn't, then as a family, we should be fine. Thank you guys. Again, if you have any questions about Kathleen, respite, anything like that, leave them below. A long time ago, she said she would be open to sitting down with me and doing a sit down and just answering questions and kind of talking about respite and all of those things and her experience. We will do a video. It'll be tons and tons and tons of fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Where you move, make me blind You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be there Heading out to see ya And leave